Hey, good morning, good morning. Happy Fairy Friday. Ah, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning here uh, in the Niagara region of Canada. Margaret Sample coming to you live. Sun is shining, sky is blue. It is a perfect day to get outside and dance with the fairies. So I hope that you are able to find time to do that today and I hope your weather is nice wherever you are. I am coming to you to bring you messages from the fairy folk using Brian Frout's beautiful fairy oracle deck. Hey, good morning, Sarah Rose. Uh, some of you may know that sometimes I see comments and messages and sometimes they don't show up until later. So I do try and, and look at them and I always look at them afterwards. Also, whether you're watching this live or on replay, I love getting those little likes and hearts. Hey, good morning, Marie. Um, it just makes my heart sing and makes me know that you guys are enjoying this and that I should keep doing it um, every now and then. It, I think it must be like being a radio person, right? You, you are, you're talking away and then you just wonder if anyone is listening um, or, or hearing your shows afterwards or watching. So it, I really appreciate all of those. And yes, you'll see I'm ready for the holidays. I've got, oh, Santa Claus and Christmas trees on my little outfit today. Just celebrate and getting in the mode. Of course, solstice is coming up as well. A very blessed and special day. Promising that the days are going to grow longer. So that's coming very soon. Also, I just wanted to mention, so that I don't forget to do it later, um, watch for the conjunction of the planets that give us the incredible Christmas star, they're calling it. Hey, Kathy! Um, so that's, uh, watch for that. I think it's Monday the 20th, I think, right around solstice, of course, too, right? So just be aware to look at the sky if you've got a clear sky. It's going to be pretty incredible, I think. Okay, so let's tune in here and see who's going to come forward today. Ah! Oh boy. <laughs> okay, there's three cards have jumped. Um, and I like to try and get you in here and in and out in 15 or 20 minutes. So let's see what we got. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So three cards. I will go through them in the order that they have popped. Okay. So, and okay, we haven't had any of the three of these before on Fairy Fridays. So look at this guy. <laughs> Isn't he something? This is G. Hobia. And he is one of the fairy challengers. <sighs> His key words would be hmm, imaginary fears, unreal hazards, and realistic caution. So he's both sides of it. And his powers... Now, okay, so he's one of the fairy challengers. And the fairy challengers are the ones who bring us tests. And they don't test us on what we've already learned. They, they sort of set a test to see if we're ready to go on to the next stage. Okay. Um, and he, and, and so they want us to pass because they don't like doing things over and over again. So if you're being faced with a test, it's probably because they feel you're ready to pass. They keep us, um, they keep us real. They, if we're getting feeling self-important or, oh, I know all that, yeah, they'll pop that bubble for you really quickly. So with him showing up, he, he, his power, his power lies in what we imagine um, fears to be. So you've heard fear is false evidence appearing real, right? So it's, it's when our imaginations take over and a thing that goes bump in the night turns into a very scary monster or a really bad, bad guy hiding in our closet. Um, he thrives on our fears. 
he it's like he feeds on them you know like when when something is going weird in your house and you start to freak out oh my god it's like that feeds any of that low vibrating energy and gives it more power and more strength and he is the same and he gets stronger until we face him and as our fears will get stronger until we face them when we remember we've got the power it's we have the power to um good morning joanna um and so the um the phobia is he's he's got he's a sham right he takes a tiny fear and he blows it out of all proportion out of all proportion um and the smallest positivity will banish him it will banish him away same way as if you've got something weird going on in your home saying it is my free will by my free will anything I do not want or is not welcome here must leave go back to where you came from we have that power um, his job the hope yeah is to wave our imaginary fears in front of us making them look as terrifying as he can and he is really good at this okay so you you really need to be aware of that and the challenge that he offers us is to see that some of our fears are purely imaginary we have created them and then also to know that there are things that we really must be cautious about because they are real challenges they are real issues so we have to look for the truth behind anything that seems scary so we really this is his message and and if you are tuning in today or alive or on replay whenever always know that the messages the fairies are bringing are meant for you to hear so uh, that's how we work on this one and so it is time for you to look for the truth behind your fears and to distinguish between what is real and what is a projection of old traumas, old fears. Um, it, it's, it's look for the truth. When do you need to be cautious and, and when do you need to be go, oh, that's not a real fear. Uh, it's time to delve into old patterns so that we can see past the old patterns and into a more liberated life. Each false fear that we confront makes us braver. And as we confront false fears, as we confront those and we false challenges, we become more brave, we, we learn how to use our courage, and we get more strength and courage to deal with real challenges in our lives. And at the same time, sometimes fear, caution is justified by that real threat. And you have to make sure to look for the truth of a situation and be able to distinguish between the imaginary and the real. Pay attention, look at the evidence, not the false evidence appearing real. So it's funny, this bravery this morning on the radio, I was listening to the Women Doctors Choir out of Toronto singing um, Brave, right? I want to see you be brave. And I think it's really neat that that's resonating. These women who are dealing front line with all of the pandemic stuff, they see what's real and they also face it with evidence and they, they're encouraging themselves and each other and us be brave, but be and be smart. Look, don't, don't, don't run around like Chicken Little going, oh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. The sky's not falling. But we have to take care of ourselves and each other. It's really important for us to take care of ourselves and each other right now. Okay? So, that is Jehobia. Okay? Now, the next one who jumped. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Look at this. The fairy who was kissed by the pixies. I see there's some conversation going on over here on the page. 
Oh, somebody's looking for messages from spirits and Nicholas. Okay. Um, new here. Hi, 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 hi. So I'm just seeing questions. What I do is I'm not doing live readings today. I'm not doing mediumship today. Um, I will do that another day for you guys. But this is about messages from the fairies. So um, keep an eye on the page and I will... Um, if you are on the page, they are answering questions you don't even know you have. The messages are for people who are tuning in. It's always how it works. This is, this is not, I'm not doing live mediumship or stuff like that today. Okay. Um, I appreciate you tuning in though and asking. Okay. Hun. Um, so, da -da 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 -da. so her message, this is the pixie who was kissed by the sorry the fairy who was kissed by the pixies um and oh we got trolls again <laughs> sorry about the trolls folks we'll get rid of them for you later for the replay um so the fairy who was kissed by the pixies if you've ever they used to say that freckles were were pixie kisses i used to have a lot of freckles when i was a kid i don't know about you guys so um but the fairy who was kissed by the pixies. Her name is Morna. How beautiful is she? I'm trying to get this into the... I've got a new camera. There we go. And she is the queen of love. Of all kinds of love. Uh, her key words will be love given, love received. And also, she does metaphorical open heart surgery. So she uses the power of love to help us to open our hearts. And we're talking about all kinds of love. Um, you know, agape, love for mankind, brotherly love, sisterly love, romantic love, parental, child love, all different kinds of love. She is the queen of all love. She uses um, love to help us grow and um she she helps us open our hearts when we've closed them and sometimes we close our hearts because we've been hurt or we're afraid and she helps us to expand and become more of what we have the power to be oh i should say she is one of the she s-i-d-h-e folk and they're like the lords and ladies of fairy so that they're it's not like their birthright it's because they achieve recognition through what they've done Okay, and so she is, she knows how to love and love well. Now, of course, having an open heart and being open to giving and receiving love also makes us vulnerable to loss and grief, right? But Morna promises that once your heart is truly and fully open, even the deepest grief becomes bittersweet. So it's kind of like dark chocolate. It's it's sweet, but it's got that bitterness to it. But she promises you that there is no pain that is not balanced by the greater joy of love. So even though it's scary, open your heart to love and to give love and receive love. She wants to help us to love unconditionally and to love while staying centered in ourselves, like not giving your whole self away to somebody because you're in love. You want to love and love yourself first. You know, they always say all, across all the religions, the great religions, one of the main tenets is love one another as you love yourself. But you have to love yourself well for that to make, to work, right? If you're mean to yourself, well, then you're not going to have, you're not going to be very nice to other people either. So love yourself um love makes us glow it's the love light in your eyes right if it's love takes us to a better place there's so many amazing songs i hope you're hearing some of the beautiful songs um and just knowing right it's it's like love 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 is all you need we we've got I'm just I'm hearing all these all these songs and especially this time of year um, where we are thinking about our loved ones even more than usual and hmm, not being able to be with them this year 
oh look I'm getting all teary um, is difficult it's really hard but she still says reach out with love and give love receive love what can you do right now when she's showing up it's also she's also saying okay I'm here to help you I'm here to help you changes may be happening in relationships around you for the better okay for the better this is a wonderful time this is a wonderful time right that that we can be doing things that we we want to do um, what are you giving away right now what are you able to give what are you able to how can you express some love um, I've sent some Christmas cards out this year or holiday cards or solstice cards I've sent them all um, just because I wanted to just touch out a little bit more I can't hug people the way I normally do I can't see them but I can still connect and I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing make sure that you're not blocking love at this point that's the other thing she's here to say it's like maybe you've been hurt maybe you've closed off but what what little crack can you open up maybe it's it's finding a little bit of love for an animal maybe it's it's just it's it's be open be open to re receiving as well as giving um now don't be be blocking love and don't be twisting love so twisted love what's twisted love um I'm talking about love <laughs> okay twisted love shows up as jealousy possessiveness uh, attention seeking and and demanding behavior this is twisted love and, and that's not what we're after we're after open open love right loving loving with a pure heart um, and knowing there's enough love for everyone sometimes we think oh I used up my love or or no, they're they're the they get all the love no no there's enough love for everyone and the other thing is our hearts keep expanding our love keeps expanding our capacity to love if we will allow it just and opens and opens and opens um, you know if you if you if when you first fall in love oh I'll never fall in love like this again and then you'll fall in love again and oh your your heart opens again or if you have children right you th how, you just how can I ever love another baby this way and then you have another baby and oh my goodness your heart just expands and more people come in your life and friends come in your life and we keep love and love and love right it just it it that's that's what it is um, love there's enough love to go around and don't pretend about love don't pretend that you feel love when you don't and don't pretend that you don't feel love when you do why just be be real be real and love <laughs> love 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 and um, you know what hug yourselves these days as well we can't get out there and hug all the other people hug the people in your bubble um, but hug hug yourself too and, and send distance hugs all the time okay love 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 so perfect that she's coming forward this time of year when we need so much love and when we're used to giving and receiving it's about love folks it's about love the presents are not about the presents the presents are about the love behind them right what do I really want from people time spent with them memories right and then look at the third card that jumped and folks this is for you to find your own fairy so I encourage you I encourage you to go and sit quietly close your eyes and say okay fairy guide who really is there for me who wants to come through and whatever it may be allow it um, last summer I was walking down the lane at my mom's house and I met a fairy she just popped into my head and her name is listen to your intuition <laughs> and I drew a picture of her and I'm not an artist but um, so 
that's what I'm encouraging all of you to do because when this is coming forward, this has never popped before um, during these, it's, it's because you have a specific fairy guide who wants to connect with you. And it may be a pixie, it may be a brownie, it may be a gnome, it may be a, it's one of the fairy folk, okay? And trust that what you're getting is real and that they are coming forward f through love to help you. Oh, wow. I am not sure if there will be Fairy Friday next week because I believe that's Christmas morning and I, I kind of think it won't happen next week. So, um, but <laughs> I'll let you know if it does. I wish you all a very, very blessed solstice. If I don't talk to you, before, I do wish you a very Merry Christmas for those of you who've been celebrating Hanukkah and the Happy Holy Time. Yes, and to every holiday going on out there. Diwali, there's so many important religious and spiritual celebrations this time of year. Happy holidays to everyone. I don't mean to miss any by not saying them specifically. I, I do wish you all a blessed and happy and healthy time and keep tuning in for the fairies. Thank you so much, you folks who are leaving me those lovely messages. And I send you all my love and a big, big hug to you. Happy Fairy Friday. <laughs>